Excel Flash Fill is a special tool that analyzes the information you are entering and automatically fills data when it identifies a pattern. It is a powerful tool that can quickly and easily format, fill, merge, split or extract data based on a pattern that you specify. Flash Fill is designed to automate dozens of different repetitive tasks that would otherwise require manual data entry or complicated formulas. It can save a significant amount of time and reduce errors, making it an indispensable tool for data analysts and Excel users. The Flash Fill feature was introduced in Excel 2013 and is available in all later versions of Excel 16, 19, 21 and Microsoft 365. Each time, Flash Fill combines millions of small programs that might accomplish the task, then sorts those code snippets using machine learning techniques and finds the one that suits best for the job. All this is done in milliseconds in the background and the user sees the results almost immediately. Now, where is Flash Fill located in Excel? In Excel 2013 and later, the Flash Fill tool resides on the Data tab in the Data Tools group. For those of you who prefer working from a keyboard most of the time, you can run Flash Fill with the shortcut key combination Ctrl plus E. This was about a brief introduction to Flash Fill. Now, let's move on to some practical examples in Excel. We begin with how to use Flash Fill in Excel. Usually, Flash Fill starts automatically and you only need to provide a pattern for Excel to identify. In front of us, we have a list of names of people and their native states and union territories. Now, the task is to separate the states or union territories from this list. In the column adjacent to the column which contains your source data, type the desired value in the first cell which is Arunachal Pradesh. Now, the moment you start typing Lakshadweep in the cell below and if Excel senses a pattern, it will show you a preview of the data to be filled in the cells below. Press the Enter key to accept the preview and you're done. Let's now see how to use Flash Fill in Excel with a button click or shortcut. In most situations, Flash Fill kicks in automatically as soon as Excel establishes a pattern in the data. If a preview does not show up, you can activate Flash Fill manually also. In the same example, we fill in the value in the first cell and press Enter. Next, we click on the Data tab and under this, in the Data Tools group, we click on the Flash Fill button and the task is completed. If we must use the shortcut key, then instead of clicking on the Flash Fill button, we press the Ctrl and E keys together and you get the same result. When using Flash Fill in Excel to automate data entry, the Flash Fill Options button appears near the autofilled cells. Clicking this button opens the menu that lets you do the following. Undo the Flash Fill results. Select blank cells that Excel has failed to populate and select the changed cells, for example, to format them all at once. As already mentioned, Flash Fill is a very versatile tool. Let's now look at some examples that demonstrate some of its capabilities. Before Flash Fill came into existence, splitting the contents of one cell into several cells required the use of the text to column feature, which could get quite tedious at times. With Flash Fill, you can get the results instantly. In this example, the data in column B has to be split into four different columns containing the state name, the minimum PIN code, the maximum PIN code and the total number of PIN codes in that state. So in the first row of the four adjacent columns, we put in the required information manually and move down to the next row. We start typing in the next row beginning with Andhra Pradesh. Here, no suggestions appear automatically. So we either click on the Flash Fill button 
or use the shortcut key and the entire data is separated. So finally we see that the entire data which had been merged into one single column has been very easily split into four different columns on the basis of the required categories with the help of flash fill in no time at all. Moving on to our next example of extracting data for which we earlier used Excel text functions like left, right, mid and others. Here we have a list of over 200 email IDs and the task is to separate the domain names and analyze which domain name is used the most in this sample. So it is a total of 218 email IDs which we have to analyze and provide the data as to which domain name is used the most in these. We start by entering the value in the first row of the column adjacent to the source data. As we begin to enter the value in the second cell, FlashFill itself provides a preview of the data to be entered in the balance cells. All we have to do is press the enter key. Now in the column adjacent to this, which is labeled quantity, we enter a value of 1 against all the entries. I am taking this example a step further as to show you how easy it is to analyze the data of such a huge sample after extracting the domain name. Now what we do is we select the entire range of these two columns and we create a pivot table. In the same worksheet itself and the location is just given in two adjacent columns. Here I put the domain name in the rows section and the quantity in the values section. And I filter this pivot table on the basis of the number of domain names used in the sample. Here you have the entire data sorted on the basis of domain names used and we can clearly see that Gmail, Yahoo and Redifmail are the highest used domain names as per this sample. If you have an opposite task to perform, like combining or merging data from different columns, not a problem. FlashFill can concatenate cells too. Moreover, it can separate the combined values with a comma, semicolon or any other character. You just need to show Excel the required punctuation in the first cell. In this example, our screen shows a list of about 50 companies followed by their address and product sector. Here the task is to merge all this data into one single column. So in the first cell of the adjacent column, we combine the data of all the three cells separated by a triple slash acting as a separator. Now here again, as we start to type the name of the second company in the cell below, we do not get any suggestions from Excel. So what do we do? We press either the flash fill button or use the shortcut. So in this case, I'll use the shortcut by pressing Ctrl and E together. And we have the entire data, which was earlier available to us in three different columns, which has been merged into one single column. And in every single cell, triple slash has also been incorporated as a separator. Sometimes our data gets mixed up with other characters due to some errors or other unavoidable circumstances. In such cases, sorting out the original data can be quite a task, either manually or with the help of Excel text functions. Here again, flash fill is a very handy tool. You just need to enter the sorted data in the first one or two cells to enable Excel to identify a pattern and flash fill does the rest. We have a list of names mixed up with other characters and we enter the first name in the adjacent column. In the cell below, we start entering the second name, but we do not get any suggestions from Excel. So instead, we use the shortcut key by pressing Ctrl and E. But we see that FlashFill has still not been able to sort the data as per our requirement and it still has some extra characters present in the sorted data. 
So we click on the flash fill options box and undo this step. In such a case, when no suggestions are offered automatically and even running flash fill manually does not work, then we fill in a couple of more entries to help Excel identify a pattern because till now it has not been able to do so. So I manually enter the entry in the second cell. And now again I run flash fill. This time flash fill has been able to identify the pattern and has generated the data successfully. Quite often the data in your spreadsheets is formatted in one way while you want it otherwise. Just start typing the values exactly as you want them to appear and flash fill will do the rest. Let's say you have a column of first and last names in random upper and lower case. You wish to format this list in various different options. A piece of cake for flash fill. We wish to format the names that you see on your screen in a lowercase, uppercase and propercase format. Currently, these names are a random mix of uppercase and lowercase characters with no definite pattern between them. So first what we do is we type in the entry in the first adjacent column where we require the lowercase characters. And as we start entering the next cell, we get the preview of the complete data that is to be filled in. We just have to press the enter key. So all these names are formatted in a complete lowercase format. Next, we move on to the uppercase column. Here again, we enter the first cell in the desired name. And as we begin to enter the name in the cell below, we get the preview for the rest of the names that will be autofilled. We just have to press enter. Finally, coming to the column where we want the data to be formatted in a proper case format, we enter the value in the first cell in the required format. Similarly, as we start to enter the value in the next cell, we get the preview for the balanced data that will be autofilled and we press enter again. In the same manner, you can also format a column of numbers or dates in the required format using flash fill. Replacing part of a string with some other text is a very common operation in Excel. To have it done, we either use the replace function or we can type the desired value in the first cell and let flash fill automatically fill in the remaining cells. Let's say you have a list of Aadhaar numbers and you want to first format them in a predefined manner and then censor the sensitive information by replacing all but the first two and last two digits with the alphabet X. Now to achieve this task, firstly in the column adjacent to the column that contains the source data, we fill in the first cell in exactly the same format the way we want it and with the data that needs to be censored being replaced with the alphabet X as and where required. So I'll begin entering the data in the first cell. This is going to be in the format that I wanted and with the censoring that needs to be done. Now as we start entering the data in the cell below, we see that Excel offers no automatic suggestions. So we reverse this part and press the Ctrl and E option. Here we see that the entire set of data has been formatted exactly in the predefined manner that we wanted it and the censoring of data has been done in such a way that only the first two and the last two digits of the Aadhaar number are visible and the rest all has been censored. Flash fill in Excel can accomplish not only straightforward tasks like demonstrated in the previous examples but also perform more sophisticated data rearrangements. As an example, let's combine different pieces of information from three columns and add a few custom characters to the result. Supposing you have the first names of employees of a particular company in column B, the last names in column C and the company domain names in column D. Based on this information, you want to generate email addresses after adding .com in the end. So in the first cell, adjacent to the column containing the source data, we start by typing the last name followed by a dot then with the first name followed by the add symbol. Next comes the domain name. Lastly, followed by .com. 
Now as we start typing in the cell below, we see that Flashfill offers a preview of the entire list of new email IDs that needs to be autofilled in the cells below. We just press enter and complete the task. If some data entries in your worksheet begin with a leading space, you usually use the trim function, but Flashfill can get rid of them in a blink. Type the first value without a preceding space and all extra spaces in other cells are gone too. Now that we have covered quite a few examples exhibiting the scope of Flashfill, I hope there is complete clarity regarding the same. In case you have any further queries, you can always put in your comments and I shall get back to you on the same. A point to be noted here is that Flashfill results do not update automatically. Unlike formulas, the results of Flashfill are static. If you make any changes to the original data, they won't be reflected in the Flashfill results. You will have to update these changes manually or run Flashfill again. Flashfill in Excel is turned on by default. If you do not want any suggestions or automatic changes in your worksheet, you can disable Flashfill in the following manner. Firstly, in any Excel file, click on the File tab. Then click on the Options button which is available right at the bottom. In the Excel Options window that opens up, click on the Advanced button in the panel towards the left. And under the Editing Options, uncheck or clear the Automatically Flash Fill box. Finally, press OK. And now Flash Fill has been turned off. To re-enable Flash Fill, again we click on the File tab. Select the Options button. In this window, we click on the Advanced button. And under Editing Options, we click on the Automatically Flash Fill button again. I would like to conclude by saying that Flash Fill usually suggests changes automatically. In case that does not happen, try to run Flash Fill manually by clicking on the Flash Fill button or using the shortcut key. If this also does not work, fill in a couple of more entries manually so that Excel can identify a pattern. If none of this works and Flashfill still throws an error, there is nothing else you can do but enter the data manually or with the help of formulas.